In a classic version of the Pinocchio illusion, tactile feedback delivered simultaneously to the nose of a blindfolded participant and to the fingertip of their outstretched arm gives the participant the impression of having a very long nose like Pinocchio. We developed an eyes-open adaptation of this illusion for virtual reality in which participants provide the visual motor and tactile stimulation for the illusion themselves. The participants are first embodied in a virtual avatar. They then performed a baseline reach estimation task in which they reported whether they felt they could reach cubes placed at various distances in front of them. Yes. Yes. No. Afterwards, the participants tapped on the touchpad of the controller with one hand and tapped on their real nose with their other hand simultaneously. With each tap, the virtual nose grew larger. In another condition, the participants tapped only on the controller and omitted the tapping on their real nose. Both conditions revealed a significant increase in the perceived reachability of objects following the self-administered Pinocchio illusion stimulation. Further analysis showed that participants experienced an unintentional outward drift of their real hand as they were performing the tapping action. This drift was positively correlated with the increase in perceived reach. In control conditions, we show that the illusion and extension of reach in the unimanual version of the illusion breaks down if the body schema or temporal relationship between the visual motor stimuli are violated. Additionally, we find that there was a significant reduction in the perceived reach of the non-stimulating hand following the illusion.